stampers and crafters. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and today I'm going to show you how to create this super cool heart that looks like it's carved in a tree when it is actually all one layer. Very very cool. It's a super fun and easy masking technique. Real quick before we get started I wanted to give you a little heads up that at the end of the video I'm going to tell you about a new giveaway I'm doing on Periscope. So you know I've been learning the new Periscope smartphone app and sharing live videos with you guys and you really get <laughs> Tammy unplugged when you're on Periscope. One thing I love about the live videos is you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> In fact while I was doing a live broadcast of this particular giveaway on Periscope my UPS man who is here so much he's like part of the family showed up and hijacked the broadcast. <laughs> he jumped right in there. Check this out. I think I hear my UPS man coming. You want to meet my UPS man? Hold on one second. This is what happens when you do live video. I, we're live. You want to come you want to come meet my stampers? They're from all over the world. Where are we? Yeah, Hi, kids. we're all over. This is Sully. Thank you for using UPS, your worldwide <laughs> logistical solution. Stampers all over the all over here. Happy mail. No, not mail. Yeah. Well, happy packages. Happy packages. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks nice for joining talking us to everybody. Today. Jesus loves you, and so do I. <laughs> Silly goose. Yeah. Oh, good times like this happen a lot when you're doing live video. Now, I promise you, I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not even slowing down here. So don't worry. I am adding quick live video on Periscopes. So if you want to see more tips and ideas, you'll want to follow me there too at Stamp with Tammy. So be sure to stay tuned to the end for details on the new giveaway. Let's get started. I'm using the heart out of the mini treat bag die. It's made to cut out an adorable treat bag, but it's also got these little bonus, the star, the bow, the, the heart that go on so many other projects. It's a, it's a great die to have. The reason why I picked this one is because it was made, literally made to go with the You're So Sweet stamp set. It cuts out the heart perfectly. And we're not actually going to cut out the heart here. We are going to cut out a template to match it. I love that all these products coordinate. Not just the colors, but the stamps, the framelits, the punches, everything are made to go together. Just one more reason why I love Stampin' Up! And you can get all of these products, as well as a free downloadable PDF for this project, including a supply list and measurements and more, at my stampwithtammy.com blog at this URL, or by clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video. Okay, before I start with my embossing, I am going to use the embossing buddy over this because I always forget and then I regret. So you don't regret, don't forget. Use the embossing buddy before you emboss. Just wipe it over your cardstock. It is going to keep the static down so you don't get extra bits and pieces where you don't want. Next, we're going to use the Versamark watermarking ink pad for embossing. Just to ink up our stamp. I'm going to stamp it in the lower right. Do you hear that? It's my dog snoring. <laughs> Let's go sneak up on him. He is so cute. <sighs> Gotta love Flash. He's such a cutie. Love my beagle. I am using white emboss powder. Just pouring that over some scrap paper to save the excess. That just pours right over the project. See how it didn't stick to anything it wasn't supposed to and then just flick off any excess. And you know what the beautiful thing is here? There wasn't a lot of excess because I remembered the embossing buddy. If you forget, you will regret. <laughs> just remember that. Now for the really fun part, love this. This is the heat tool and I'm gonna heat up this powder and melt it. So cool, so cool. And then when it's dry, it's raised up. It's so awesome. I've got the Sizzix Big Shot die cut machine and the magnetic platform, both available on the blog. One cutting pad down now. You could use scrap paper of any color. I'm actually using some scrap vellum because I want to be able to see through it. If you don't have vellum, don't worry. Just cut your heart out from cardstock. That's fine. Cut your heart out, baby. Okay, so gonna place that heart down on the vellum and cutting pad on top and crank it through to cut it out. And that just cuts out our vellum heart that we can now see through, which is gonna make the next step pretty easy. I'm taking double-sided snail adhesive. If you have temporary adhesive, that would be ideal, but I don't have any handy, so this is what I'm gonna do in a pinch. A, a, just a little strip of it, and then I'm using my thumb 
to make it less sticky. I don't want it to rip the paper. I don't want it to mark the paper. I just want it to hold still for a very short period of time. Now this is why I love the vellum because you can see through it. So line that up over the heart. So I got it perfect. I've got an early espresso ink pad and a wedge of a Stampin' Sponge. I'm gonna dip that right in the ink pad and then we're gonna go right around that heart. I kinda went in a circular motion. At first you may be thinking, why is she doing that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but wait, and don't put the sponge away just yet. We're gonna use it again in a sec. Look at this. Wow, right? So now this is gonna give us the illusion that the heart is actually cut in the wood. I am gonna put it right back because we need the heart for the next step. This is the wood grain background stamp. I'm gonna ink it up with the same early espresso ink and we're gonna stamp that right over the top. Remember the vellum is still on the heart. So when we lift, we've got our wood grain background. Now we can take this off for good. We're done with the mask now. Wow, right? <laughs> Isn't that cool? So awesome. Okay, now you can bring that sponge back out and do the edges, although you could have done this before you stamp too. You totally didn't need to do it after. Okay, now we're gonna bling it up. First, I'm gonna take some candy dots from the Neutrals collection. A lot of these colors will work here, actually. And you know what? If, if you run out of the colors that work and you still wanna make cards, you can always use a Sharpie to color some more. These just peel and stick. Best ever. Now to add the hearts. This is the heart punch from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. We're just gonna make one large punch with him out of real red. This is the hearts border punch. I'm gonna punch a bunch of these. We actually want the heart confetti cutouts this time instead of making a border with it for this card. And I'm gonna punch out a few from the gold foil scrap. Oh, look at this. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I put out this how to make this awesome sunburst card and I showed you how to make this crystal effects heart? Well, I used the same heart punch here and I happened to just find, well, just a second, an extra crystal effects heart that I made when I was making this video. And so I'm gonna use this on this card. So I just used crystal effects over the, the heart punch and let it dry, but you can go back to the sunburst video if you wanna see how to make that. Oh, that's just gonna make it look so cool. Look at that. Oh, just adds a little pow. Love it. Glad I found that. Now we're just gonna stick these little guys on using some mini glue dots. I can't believe the unbelievable luck of finding this. Just stick it right to the glue dot and then stick it right on there. Oh, that looks so awesome. It looked awesome with the regular heart, but the crystal effects heart makes it a wow. We'll put a little gold on there and then we'll just add some various sized hearts like they're just flowing out of this heart carved in the wood. And then when you're done, you got leftover confetti to put in the envelope. How much fun is that? Okay, so here's my two versions of the card. <laughs> one with the regular heart and one with the crystal effects heart. Wasn't that super cool? <laughs> Didn't you love it? Okay, as promised, here's the details on my Periscope giveaway. I've created a swipe and share giveaway. One of the things I learned this week on Periscope is that when you're watching a live video, you can swipe to the side if you're on iPhone or up if you're on Android, and you can share the broadcast. So to share the love, if you share any of my live broadcasts between now and February 14th, you can win this Happy Birthday Everyone stamp set. And this is a hostess stamp set, so you can only get this free, and you can only get it if you have an order or a workshop or a club order over $150, so it's rare, it's not easy to get, and it's awesome. All you have to do is follow me on Periscope at Stamp with Tammy, and anytime I'm doing a live broadcast, jump on and share it. And it has to be live, I have to be able to see that you've shared it. If you miss the live ones, you can catch a lot of the replays on my blog or on my Facebook page. I found a way to put them there too, so they live on forever and don't expire in two days. So you can always catch the ideas later, but the only way to get in the contest is to get on there live. And you can find information on any of my current giveaways on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by clicking on the specials tab. Okay, good luck. I will get to talk to you live on Periscope and I will be back here on YouTube in a few days. Thanks for joining me today.